Hey everyone, it's the Vigilant Christian Mario, and you're here for another edition of Satanic Media Exposed. In today's video, I wanted to do a quick expose on Nick Jonas' new song, Chains. The reason that I wanted to do this is because here on YouTube, I'm part of a men's ministry. We have a YouTube channel called The Godly Bros. We're trying to help people recognize that being a bad boy or being a bad girl is actually pretty pathetic and sad. And no one should desire to emulate and to be that type of person. So sadly, in this music video, that's what it's about. It's about Nick Jonas, who has went through the typical metamorphosis with Disney from good to bad, and is chasing like a dog who's drooling, who can't get control of himself, uh, bad girls. So this is something that needs to be brought up, especially for younger people out there. I myself was brainwashed by this stuff, going to the club, partying, uh, chasing bad girls, being a player, and it really uh, doesn't fulfill an individual on the inside. Although media is going to brainwash people to make them think that that's what being cool is all about, being a thug, going to the club, uh, you know, picking up broads and all that nonsense, quote unquote, um, it's actually pathetic and sad, and it needs to be addressed, so... That's why we're here. Um, the video is called Chains, and I wanted to look at some of the lyrics in the, vid uh, in the song. Uh, the video, not much to say. I mean, it's basically him playing a bad boy who pathetically cannot help himself but chase the wrong kind of woman. Uh, and that's about it. He's out there drinking, partying, pretending to be cool when that stuff's not cool. You think you're cool because you go to the club and you have a whole bunch of friends and you're, you're with the in crowd. Guess what? That's, I used to do that. That's, that's not cool. It's pathetic. Um, so the lyrics actually go on to talk, and this is very important. We need to look at this. With her wine-stained lips, she's nothing but trouble. Wine-stained. So she's a drunkard. She's going out to the club. She's pounding back the drinks. Uh, and he even admits, she's nothing but trouble. Well, brother, uh, well, man, you're not a brother, but hopefully you'll be a brother in Christ one day. Um, what are you doing chasing this type of woman if you know she's bad for you? How foolish is that? The most foolish thing an individual can do is consciously know that something is troublesome and bad and negative for them and continue to do it. What Nick needs to do here is apply reason and logic, which would mean that if he knows that she's trouble, get away. What? You can't control your instincts? You can't just settle yourself and, and you have to chase that? Come on, man. Cold to the touch, but she's warm as a devil. So she's cold. Uh, she's cold out in, in the inside. Her heart is cold, uh, but she's warm as a devil. Oh, she's hot. She's banging and all that nonsense. I gave her my heart, and she won't heal my, but she won't heal my soul. Why give her your heart? Brothers and men out there, do not give these type of women your heart. They don't deserve it. The Bible says, guard your heart, okay? So why give it to a she-devil who's only going to hurt you in the end? It makes no sense. There's no logic or, or wisdom that's being applied here. And the true man operates in wisdom, not foolishness to the point that you're just some animalistic person who can't control your carnal desires. You got me in chains for your love. This is the chorus. Literally, she's got you bound up. You want to be bound up by a bad girl and you can't even control your own self. But I wouldn't change this love. What? You, what's wrong with you, man? Like, seriously, you won't change it? it? It's not love. First of all, let me tell you, you need to subscribe, Nick Jonas, to the Godly Bros, and me and you have to have some one-on-ones because I need to teach you what actual love is. If you think love is with this type of woman, it's not. And I feel really bad for you because you're just chasing something that's just not even close to authentic. There's no fulfillment. There's nothing substantial about what you're doing. And then he goes on in the song, the lyrics talk about the fact that she calls him in the middle of the night and she's drunk and he can't say no. Listen, bro, uh, man, if a girl like this calls you and she drunk dials you at night, she's like, oh, hey there, I want to come over. She's been grinding up on guys all night. Maybe none of them were interested in her. So now she's calling you. You want to be that sloppy little piece of meat that is, she's going to call in the middle of the night? You know what I do? I'd be like, hey hang up, she comes to the door, bang, close the door, get out of here, 
I'm looking for a good girl. None of this nonsense. That's ridiculous. Now, one thing that we need to do is we need to apply wisdom, the Word of God. Now, the Word of God is a powerful revelation to mankind, a divine revelation from our Creator to let us know how we can operate in wisdom. If our poor Nick Jonas here were to actually follow this, he wouldn't be caught, first of all, in the entertainment industry, being prostituted out like this by the corporate elites in that uh, industry. Uh, and he also wouldn't be a carnal human being who cannot control his baser in instincts uh, chasing these type of women. In the book of Proverbs, which most of the Proverbs were written by King Solomon, and keep in mind, King Solomon was the individual who is who was the wisest human being who ever lived. God gave to him the ability to ask one thing, and Solomon uh, wanted wisdom. So God gave that to him uh, as an answer to his prayer. And from that, he wrote the book of Proverbs. So if you're dealing with anything in life, man or brother, uh, go ahead and go to the book of Proverbs. You're going to find out everything that you need to know. And in fact, in these situations, when you cannot control yourself to desire the wrong person, all the revelation of wisdom is here. So it basically describes two paths in this book, the path of the wise and the path of a fool. The path of the fool is the one that Nick Jonas is on. The path of the wise is that very few are on. Jesus said that the gate is narrow and few there be that find it. And look in the culture today, you're going to see that that is absolutely relevant. Uh, relevant. Most men do not walk in w wisdom, so they can't call themselves real men. Uh, they are nothing but boys who are the age of men who haven't actually actualized the wisdom that God has given them. Uh, but it says very something very interesting here. Uh, in my video that I did for uh, Bad Girl Expo Exposed, Men, She is Poison, and I gave a warning. I go through the scriptures entirely, but I just want to point out something here that it talks about the wrong type of woman. It says, For the lips of a strange woman drip as honey and her mouth is smoother than oil. And if we look at uh, the lyrics here, with her wine-stained lips, she's nothing but trouble. He's literally talking about the woman that God tells you not even to have anything to do with her. And it goes on to say, basically her, her lips are smoother her, her as honey, her mouth is smoother than oil, but in the end, she is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword, her feet go down to death, her steps lead to hell. Proverbs chapter 5, you need to read it. If you're a man and you want to have true wisdom and operate as a true man. Thanks for taking the time. This is the Vigilant Christian. God first, bro. Reminding you all to stay vigilant and fear no evil. God bless.